Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's background busting card making video. So my last video I used some purple and violet backgrounds to make some cards using simple rectangle dies. And in today's video I'm going to use my bluey greeny bits of backgrounds. For my dies I'm going to use postage stamp dies. These are just some of the ones that I might use. I might pull in a few others. I've got a few in different sizes. And I've got 10 card blanks and 10 card panels in linen textured card. And plan is to make 10 different cards using these backgrounds and these dies, plus a few other bits that I'll bring in to zhuzh things up like sentiment stamps and drops and dots and maybe some other little die cuts. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut lots of postage stamps from this. So when I've done that, I will be back. And here we have all my postage stamps die cut from the backgrounds. I didn't die cut a postage stamp from this bit because I die cut a postage stamp from this bit. And I'm going to use that as the backing to the aperture. So I think we'll start with that one. Start with adding some foam on the back of my panel. I did think about turning this into a shaker card, but I'm not going to today. I do want to add a little bit of shimmer and shine to this though. This is a DIY shimmer spray made with Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder White Pearl Mixer. I'm going to spatter that on with my paintbrush. It's not going to be very obvious, but when you tilt it under the light, it will catch and shimmer and shine. So I hope you can see the shimmer and shine there. I've taken the release paper off the foam around the aperture and I can just stick that there. So there's a little bit of dimension. I'll add some extra tape runner to this bit here and then stick that on a card blank, which I'll trim down later. And we'll do the extra embellishment, sentiments, die cuts, etc. towards the end. So that's the beginnings of our first card. This next card, I've got six of these stripy stamps. Not sure I'm gonna need all six. And have those four arranged like that on there. I've made a tiny little pencil mark in the center of this panel. This will just help me get my little rectangles where I want them. I'm gonna go in and up from that a little bit. I can take these and line them up so they're the same distance and direction from that. It doesn't have to be measured, it just needs to look right. And then I can erase that mark and that's ready for embellishing and going on a card blank. In a similar vein, I've got nine of these. I'm not sure I'm gonna need all nine. I think six will do and again I'm going to stick those down in a repeating pattern. There we go that's number three. So now I've got these three smushy, well I think they were drip, spray and drip backgrounds and I'm going to put this one, the darker, stronger coloured one, up on foam. The other two I'm going to stick straight on there. I use high tack glue to make sure these are good and stuck down. And have them overlapping like that. And this one the stronger colour I think can go in the middle, roughly. I think that will do. And now that's ready for embellishing. With this one, I think I'm going to put that straight on there like that. But I want to give it a little bit of shimmer and shine. Splatter on some pale gold metallic paint. So that's all dry. I'm just going to give this a little bit of definition by going around the edge with a bit of peacock feathers because I 
think, if I remember rightly, that's the colour I used when I created this background. So that's all done. I think, um, I think I'm going to put it that way for a change. Okay, that's ready for the next stage. For this card, I'm using a bit of embossed paper that was sprayed, well, I've sprayed the embossing folder with a DIY shimmer spray. If you want to know more about that, check out my Pigment Powders 101 series. So I've got three of those. I want to run them down the left-hand side of this panel, but before I do, I'm going to emboss a few lines just for a bit of extra texture in the background. So I'll put this one bang in the middle of the card, hopefully, if I've got my maths right. That looks about right, doesn't it? So that's looking good. Now I've got these smushed stamps. I think I will create a cascade down my card. Some of these stamps are only partially cut because the paper wasn't wide enough or long enough, but they're great for adding coming in from the side because you don't need a full shape because you're going to cut some off. So now I can get my scissors and cut off the overhang. So that could go any which way up you wanted. For this next one, I'm going to mix and match some postage stamps. This one I think is Peacock Feathers and it was made with a damask rubber stamp. This one has a repeating pattern of leaves and berries and that's quite dark. I think that might have been Uncharted Mariner. And then on the back of some of those, I've just got some Uncharted Mariner, which I think I brayed on. So we've got a bit of contrast going on there. I've just run a thick band, it's about maybe three quarters of an inch wide, of tape runner down there so I can start sticking some stamps. Once I've got these all positioned how I want them, I will come in with some extra glue to keep everything down. I want to try and get them straight on the card. So we'll snip off the overhang and then see what it looks like. I'm using matte gel medium, mostly because this bottle has got a very fine nozzle on it, which just makes it really easy to insert underneath the stamps. Plus, if any does ooze out, it'll be matte and won't show up. So we have some postage stamps down the side. Now I've got some fairly pale postage stamps that I made with another DIY shimmer spray. These I'm going to run down the card. So that's changed course somewhat. Instead of going down the third, it's gone diagonal like that. So that's our penultimate card. Now I've got some really soft watercolour-y stamps that I can stick in opposite corners, I think. I think I made this background by stamping with a very wet stamp. And that is card panel number 10. So now we've got 10 card panels ready for embellishing. And I think I'm going to keep it simple. Because there's already some gold in here, I thought I would use some gold foil cardstock to create some embellishments. Not sure I'd add them to that, but that's what gave me the idea for gold. So I'm going to die cut some gold foil shapes, maybe some vellum bits and bobs, 
come back and stick them on and then choose some sentiments. So let's get assembling with die cuts and sentiments. For all my sentiments today, I've used my grungy label stamps. I stamp them in black stays on and then I heat emboss them with clear embossing powder so they're a little bit dimensional and shiny. I've also die cut some leaves and branches and flowers from smooth white cardstock. There's one for each of my cards. And I've also die cut and backed with vellum some gold foiled butterflies. I'm not going to put a butterfly on this because there's gold already. I might actually, let me have a look. My idea with this one is to pop that there and then let's have a look, see. I'm not sure, I think that might be too much gold. I'm going to stick my flowers down. Pop those on there like that. Press it down with some non-stick paper. So hopefully enough of that will be in contact with the postage squares. I'm going to use tacky glue on this and add that there and the high tack glue will just hold it down while it sticks and I'll think about whether or not I want a butterfly on that. I put my white leafy branchy die cut there and I've got my butterfly and my with love and I think I'll have my with love at the bottom and my butterfly just here fluttering off. This is going to need a little bit of foam underneath it and once I've stuck these to the card blanks I'll give the butterflies some body maybe with nouveau drops maybe with glossy accents but i'll see when i get there so for this one i've got a nice big chunky die cut i want to put that bang in the middle i've managed to rip it but i can wiggle it back into place and no one will ever know i'll add a get well soon there and a butterfly again up there we can use it to mask the bit of the leaf that I managed to tear. Just dipping this into some high tack glue. I can't be bothered to try and get individual little bits of glue on the back of there. Put that down there. Turning this into a thank you card. Not adding any foam to this. And a gold butterfly. For this one, I've got quite a delicate little branchy leafy thing and I'll just snip off and tuck that underneath. I think we need a bit of foam under this end of my sentiment which says hello. And that can go there and then my butterfly can go over here. I can hear a Chinook coming over so I'm just putting that there. This die cut here and the butterfly somewhere over here. So this leaf branch thing will look pretty good bridging the gaps between these tumbling postage stamps. I've got a large butterfly. And that can snuggle round about there. This one's very thin and fiddly, so that's going to get dipped. So I've got three little sentiments here. I've got imagine somewhere around there. Dream maybe somewhere over here. And create or dream imagine create yeah I think that will do and I've got five gold butterflies these haven't got any holes in them they're slightly embossed and these are just going to flatter up the page I think 
that will do on that one. This is going to be a thinking of you. So we've got our leaves and our butterfly. And I think just tucked under that top, more the middle stamp really. And lastly, a Just Because card, again, a fiddly die cut, so it's getting dipped. Another vellum-backed butterfly, very intricate, this one. Fluttering in that direction, and that can go under there, like that, with a little bit of foam under it. And so we're nearly done. I need to give my butterflies some bodies and maybe add a little scattering of drops or dots. So I've got some white Nouveau drops, some morning dew Nouveau drops, which dry clear. I don't think I'll use gold because it's a very different gold to that gold. I've also got some mini enamel dots that I could use. So on this one, I'll add some little pale greeny grey dots on the body just three of those and I think some white Nouveau drops some outside and some inside and on the little round bits that are showing on this branch thing I'm going to add some Morning Dew Nouveau drops, just a few dots, and they'll dry clear and be a little bit dimensional. So I think that will do. This guy needs a body and some antenna. So I've die cut him a little body out of gold foil card, and that can go on there. But I will give him some morning dew nouveau drops on his body so he has a bit of dimension and i'm going to add some white nouveau drops just dotted around this one i think just some clear morning dew again just following the same line as everything else this one needs a body so I'll go for those same bluey, greeny, grey enamel dots. So I've popped some white Nouveau drops on there. It's just started raining, so I might have to switch to voiceover for this very last bit. This one's going to get some yellow enamel dots for its body. I think it tones in well with the gold that I used there. This one, I'm going to give a white body, just draw a line with my drops and then add some white drops around and about. And this one can have a white head and body as well. This one can definitely get some of these, I think that's a really good colour match. And I think some white drops on here, in between the squares. And this last one, I think I'm just going to leave it as is because there's quite a lot going on. Let me know what you think though. Should I add a butterfly? Should I add any drops? Let me know in the comments. And that's these cards done and dusted. Do come back for my next video in which I use my warmer backgrounds to make some more cards. And if you'd like to check out the purpley violet cards that I made, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Right, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some ideas of things you can do with backgrounds and dyes and stamps in your stash. If it has, please do let me know in the comments, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that notification bell and I'll see you back here for my next video very soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now.